Okay, I'm gonna prove to you why the magnetic poles are shifting, okay? Now, our current understanding is that we have already ruled out the possibility that the magnetic poles are causing climate change, okay? But nobody ever considered the opposite. Nobody ever considered that climate change might be the cause of the shifting magnetic poles. I'm gonna prove to you in like five to seven minutes that, that climate change is causing the shifting magnetic poles, okay? And it's not gonna require a fancy animation. It, it, it's just going to require you to have a, a basic understanding of the force of gravity and centrifugal forces and, and the electromagnetic force, okay? So what does climate change cause? It causes the, particularly warming, okay? It causes the poles to melt, right? And what happens to that water that melts? Well, the centrifugal forces of Earth's rotation concentrate that water towards the equator and away from the poles, right? This is why we see sea levels rise faster at the equator than at the poles, okay? So, the, but the, if that ice had if it remained frozen, it would be much more resilient to the centrifugal forces, right? Solid mass in general is more resilient to centrifugal force than liquid mass is, right? So in effect, Earth is becoming less spherical and more of an ellipsoid. And it's basically flattening out and widening at the equator. So, but this water isn't, this melting water is not the only liquid mass to consider. The extra mass in the, that, the extra mass that concentrates at the equator from the melting poles is, it's pulling on the extra centrifugal force is pulling on the liquid core, the outer core made of iron that's responsible for the creation of Earth's magnetic field. So in other words, as we melt ice at the poles, the extra mass around the equator also pulls the liquid iron further into an ellipsoid shape, okay? And, and in all likelihood, it's changing the way the iron is flowing. And in effect, it's weakening and shifting the magnetic poles unpredictably. And we currently, our current understanding is that the gravitational force has no effect on the electromagnetic force, but this overlooks a giant, obvious, glaring factor, okay? The electromagnetic force is it's dependent on mass, okay? Mass which is subject to the gravitational force, okay? So, in other words, we were wrong. The electromagnetic fo magnetic force is directly dependent on the gravitational force because it's, it's dependent on the way the gravitational force dif distributes mass. And the way we are affecting climate change, the way we are warming the climate is changing the distribution of mass on the surface via the water. And that water, that centrifugal force of that extra water around the equator is pulling on the liquid iron core and it's shifting the poles. It's shifting the nature of the, the, elect, the, uh, the magnetic fields, okay? This phenomenon is really simple to understand if you have a basic understanding of physics, okay? And, and for some reason, all these astrophysicists and geologists, they've overlooked it. I'm just a college dropout. Why I've been the one that was allowed to discover this makes no sense to me at all, but... Again, what we have to do is we have to reverse climate change. It's the only way out of this mess. Otherwise, what happens? Well, the magnetic field will continue to weaken and shift unpredictably, and we will be increasingly bombarded with cosmic radiation. And, and in effect, we're all going to get cancer, and, and, that's why the, and that's why the cancer rates are going up, okay? The magnetic poles are not shifting by chance, right? And what's the, the ultimate cause of this climate change? Well, it's, it's us, right? It's the technology we're using. It's the industrial revolution, okay? The warming of the planet and the accompanying melting ice is directly correlated with the shifts in the magnetic poles, okay? This isn't correlation, it's, it's causation. And if you don't believe me, just compare, or, or rather go look at the accelerating shifts in the magnetic poles and compare it to the amount of melting ice. There, there, there's a direct correlation, okay? Again, it's not correlation, it's causation. It's 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 the fact that this extra centrifugal force of this extra mass towards the equator is pulling on the liquid core that is responsible for the magnetic field. Okay, and what are we doing? Well, we're busy we're busy uh, talking about how devastating cosmic radiation is to our technology that we depend on. Okay, but we have it backwards. It's the technology causing the cause the increase in cosmic radiation. Okay, via the weakening and shifting of the magnetic poles. Okay, I hate to disappoint you, but. If you want to have a future on this planet for you and your grandchildren, you're going to have to, we are going to have to reverse climate change together. We're going to have to stop using this technology that is causing it, or at least most of it. We're going to have to reduce climate change enough in order to reverse the melting of the poles. Okay. 
we have to we have to uh, uh, are the able-bodied people like me in particular or me and other people we're gonna have to start walking everywhere we're gonna have to start cycling we're gonna have to use um, learn to use maps instead of our phones to get everywhere and and if you're traveling over oceans you have better learn how to navigate using using stars like we used to okay nothing else will do we so please if you if you understood this phenomenon I need you to share this video, okay? I need you to share it with prominent people, particularly in the field of physics, okay? This YouTube channel is not monetized. I have I have no profit motive in spreading this message. My only motive in spreading this information is to save humanity, and by extension, my own future and, and your future, okay? And, and unfortunately for every human on this planet, my lack of, of a profit motive is correlated with my inability to spread this message, okay? I don't have a platform, and... I, what I need you to do is I need you to create that platform for me or, or spread it yourself. Restate this video in a different manner, in a more eloquent manner, perhaps with some, some animations that could help explain it, okay? I don't, have, I don't have the ability to make those animations. Otherwise, I would, and maybe I will in the future, okay? I need you to heed this warning, okay? If, if you let your greed get in the way, it's, it's your grandchildren are going to pay the price. Okay, it, and all those nest eggs that you've been saving for to will away to your children and grandchildren, they're, they're going to be useless because or, or the cosmic radiation is going to probably in all likelihood kill us all. Okay, now there's another dangerous phenomenon that's occurring here, and I'm not going to explain it in this video. And I, if this video gets traction, I will explain it in another video. Now, my reasoning for leaving it out is is will be made clear in that future video, okay? But again, that's beside the point right now. Just please, you have to understand the implications of the shifting and weakening of the magnetic poles, okay? And by extension, how your own technology is contributing to it. Unless you want to live in a bunker or a spaceship for the rest of your life, okay? And that's no way to live, all right? You're, that's the only way that's going, it's the only way we're going to be able to live in the future if if we don't reverse climate change, okay? And guess what? <laughs> Most of us can't afford a bunker or a spaceship. I can't. You probably can't, okay? And if if you can't, well, then your role in spreading this message is just as important as my role in discovering this phenomenon, okay? My role is just it's just the one the the beginning of this this cycle. It doesn't it's not important more important than your role. Your role is just as important as mine in saving humanity, okay? If you understand this message, you need to spread it, okay? Now, we aren't done warming the, warming the planet. We're going, it's going to continue to warm for some time. And I believe we have some time before this becomes a, a drastic problem, right? But the, the very distribution of this message depends on the technology. And by extension, it's going to contribute to the warming of the planet itself. If there ever was a necessary evil, it is the spread of this message using our technology, okay? Again, if you understood this message, spread it. If you did not understand this message and you do have an understanding of physics, watch it again until you do and then spread the message. Okay. Thank you.